Hi, this is Bob from WAMS Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to clear up your storage space in the event that you're running low on storage and you need to know exactly where to go to clean it up. So the first thing you have to do is click on Settings, and then from the General menu here, you're going to scroll down to Storage and iCloud Usage. And then from here, just give it a second. Uh, your iCloud storage will load as well as your general storage will load. And here you can see what's used and what's available. Now, I have 20 gigs almost available still on my iPad, which is plenty of space. However, if you see anything less than one gigabyte, where if you start seeing things like MB, megabytes, or KB, kilobytes, I mean, you have zero storage left, basically. And so what you'll need to do is manage your storage and start deleting some things. But where to go and try to figure out what to delete? Is it things in your mail or pictures? Is it a huge app? Well, if you select manage storage, you'll be able to see exactly what's eating up space on your iPad. So here it looks like the majority of my storage issues are resulting um, from some larger apps, Chrome, Google Photos, Spark Video, so forth, right? And Right from this menu here, I can delete apps that I'm no longer using in order to free up some space. So if you see that you have less than a gigabyte left, come in here and delete some apps that maybe you're not using anymore by simply selecting them, like for example, TC Studio, and then I can select Delete App. Delete App to confirm. Brings me back, and now you'll see that if I were to go back and then back into it again, I now have more storage than I did before. All right, in the event that you're running low on storage because of images. So here under my photos and camera, I see that I have less than um, 150 megabytes, which is really nothing when you're talking about photos and, and video, but it's easy to um, eat up your iPad storage with photos and video, and you can get run into the gigabytes worth of photos and videos. One solution would be to back it up to iCloud here, but you only get five gigabytes of storage for free with iCloud, and then they want you to pay for more. So one option, and this is something that I've done, is converting all of your images and uploading them to Google Photos, which is a free app, and you actually get free storage for high quality images and videos, and then you can pay if you want unlimited original quality. If I were to click back on Manage Storage here, you'll see that my Google Photos is only 350 megabytes, which again, it really isn't much when you're talking about photos and videos. If I were to have all those videos and photos stored on my iPad itself, this would easily be in the gigabytes. So all you have to do is download Google Photos. It'll automatically back up all of your photos to a Google account of your choosing. So if you want to, if they're all professional photos, you want to use your professional Google account here at Woodward, you can do that. Or if they're all personal photos and videos, you can sign with a personal Google account and back them up that way. And then right from within the app here, as I'll show you, you can simply click over here to free up space. And then any videos or photos that have not already been backed up will be backed up. And then we'll, you can clear them from your camera roll and then simply go into your camera roll and delete them from the recently deleted to free up all of that space. I'll cancel for now. All right, so easy ways to free up storage on your iPad. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching.